Auto targeting slot, what is it and what does it do? So over here, as you can see, I have uh, different groups. And if you don't know how to group them, you just have to left click and then click a number. So right now I click number one, but if let's say I wanna click number four, there you go. So I just change that. So it's up to you what number you want, but uh, it's better to group like weapon with weapon, uh, salvaging laser with salvaging laser, mining with mining. It's easier and I'll explain to you later. So now uh, targeting slot, I have nine as you can see. And the reason I have nine is because over here I have auto turret control subsystem, uh, which gives me eight auto turret slots. So this one gives me one auto turret slot and this one gives me eight. So there you go. So I have a total of nine auto turret slot, right? So if I go back over here, if I click A, there you go. So you have this little white circle. That means that you now have auto firing available, meaning that uh, if I press A, 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 you know what I'm saying? So you can do that or you can right click and just do this, right click, you know, same thing. So press A, right? If I press A again, there you go. So what that means, it means that now my mining laser are on auto firing. Uh, before I show you this, I'm going to remove them. Okay. Because right now I have a group. If you look at the bottom, I have groups, right? So I have one, two, and three. So right now I'm just going to activate number three, which are my mining laser. If I uh, press middle mouse button like this, right? My turrets will manually aim over there, but they're not going to shoot. I need to left uh, click on my mouse in order to sh uh, to mine, right? Which is fine. But let's say you don't want to like manually do this all the time. You're going to go back over here, press I, go click. You're going to click A like this, like this, and like, and like this. And now you will see that your turrets should automatically fire the, um, the mining ore, which they are not for some reason one second oh yeah i forgot something um see if you press shift you're gonna left click over here and right now it is assigned to uh, control by uh player you don't want that you want to bring it down to auto fire like this boom there you go now it's automatic there you go same thing with this guy over here i'm gonna put it on auto fire and if you want auto fire then you have to do the same thing to each of them if, if you want them to be, you know, like on automatic, uh, you know, task. So if I use, let's say, number two, which is my salvaging laser. So if you go in ne next to a wreck, like a wreckage, like a ship that has been destroyed, uh, you have to press A. Of course, you need to have that, you know, blue circle over here. And you need to go down here. You got to make sure that you choose auto fire. And then when you go next to a ship, it's going to start automatically to salvage anything, you know, in the vicinity. You got to be in range, of course. And you need to have, of course, uh, you know, the salvage laser properly installed on your ship. Same thing with the gun over here. So if I click one, and if let's say there is an enemy in front of me, and if it is within range, and also if you make sure you have the you know like you put an automatic over here when you go next to the enemy it will start attacking without you having to do anything now be, bear in mind that let's say i left mouse button click right now nothing is nothing is happening so if i if you left click nothing is happening and the reason is because like i said everything is on automatic so when it's on automatic you cannot manually left click to attack you understand so if you want to have manual manual control you need to remove the uh you know the auto fire and then if you left click it's gonna work so now you have manual control you understand but the point of having it on automatic is to let them do their job right now when it comes to fighting the advantages is that i mean it's a good thing you know to have them on automatic but the disadvantage to that is that if you have two ships, one to the right one to the left and let's say you want to focus on one ship it's not going to be possible why because your turrets will be on automatic and they maybe the, the your turrets may focus on the left one and some of your turrets will focus on the right one so if you don't want that, I suggest that you remove the auto fire so that you can focus on one enemy ship if you want to kill them faster. You know what I mean? So that's the only disadvantage of having auto fire. But I mean, it's up to you. It depends who you're killing. If it's like easy enemies, so it shouldn't be a big issue. But if it's like, you know, like very difficult enemies, then you may want to focus one of them. So you, so you may want to consider having this not on automatic. So think about it. But when it comes to salvaging, when it comes to mining, uh, I leave everything on automatic usually because I don't like to uh, click my left mouse button in order to mine and salvage all the time. It's re really annoying. And over here for the defense cannon, well, this is by default on automatic. So, I mean, unless 
because the thing is like defense cannon are there to kill um let's say fighters and torpedo because it is always on movement so it is kind of logical to leave your defense cannon on automatic otherwise uh you will have to manually kill everything every fighters and torpedoes that is uh, you know next to you but like i said this will also uh, attack anything in the vicinity not just fighters or torpedo if you just want to kill fighters and torpedo so make sure it is on automatic over here which it is you're going to press left shift you're going to left click and you're going to click this guy defensive fighters torpedo so if you click this it's only going to shoot fighters and torpedo and nothing else now you're going to say is it a good thing well I would say it depends because if you have a lot of ship and all your turrets are focusing on one ship but let's say you have no defensive ship uh, focusing the torpedo and you know the fighters then yes it is a is a, it is a problem because nobody's going to kill the, the the fighters so you may want to put it on this one over here uh, defensive fighters torpedo uh, i mean if you want to kill those fighters and torpedo first in priority that's what it is unless you don't care and you want your defensive turrets to shoot pretty much anything in the vicinity then you can leave them on auto firing which will fire pretty much any enemy or anything next to your ship you understand so if you have a lot of defensive turret that would be recommended usually i have around three uh turret uh but this is like more like a mining ship so i don't really need it for now and again if you want to put everything on manual you just put it on control by player like this right and you have everything all manual but again if you left click you'll be shooting you'll be salvaging and you'll be mining at the same time you don't want to do that so if you just want to mine you're gonna hi highlight only the uh, mining laser right if you just want to salvage you're gonna press number two remove number three and now you're just salvaging if you just want to shoot you press number one and you just use your uh, machine gun right so it really depends on you what you want to do right uh but you don't want to use three of them at the same time unless you really want to do that i mean that's up to you um the the last thing i want to tell about is the pilot autopilot over here if you have a captain you can mine salvage repair like attack enemies and patrol so these things are advanced orders which requires uh, a captain so over here if you look over here i have a minor captain so the captain is a minor and because i have a captain i am entitled to actually use the autopilot which allow me to mine everything in a sector so if i click this guy over here my ship will automatically uh do everything like automatically like it says and it's going to be looking for uh mining ore uh the other good thing about having this captain is that as you can see it says highlights hidden ores so basically it can see uh ores that is hidden into like a regular asteroid if you have a captain with a specialization as minor you will have that uh that trait which is super mega good you know what i mean so as you can see here, I'm not touching anything and my laser, my uh, mining laser are doing its job, right? So everything is automatic when you use autopilot over here. And that's about it. You can do the same thing for salvage. If you have salvage laser, you can do repair all. If you can repair uh, attack enemy, if you have, you know, weaponry, uh, patrol sector, if you want to patrol. So that's pretty much it and make sure you have the money to pay your captain every three hours he requires 27,000 credits every three hours otherwise he will not work for you and he may even leave right so that's it guys so i hope that this helped you if it does please like and sub thanks for watching see my next bit cheers so the more mining laser you have the faster you will be mining by the way there we go simple as that